but able to pressure that shot clock. Stolen away by Zai. Zai throws down to Shaden. Shaden in the paint, dunks it in. I am here with Shaden Stone after today's victory here in Griffin over the Tigers. Shaden, Breezer Street, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. So coming into the day, two in a row for you guys. Um, definitely you being a big part of that, especially last week mm. uh, against the Hawks down at Waycross. You spoke on you really finding your role in the offensive part of the game. Right. And I think you definitely found it here, especially in the second half of the game. We'll get to that. In the first half, you guys were slow coming out of the gates. You saw a lot of that from the bench. What did you see out of the team that you uh, looked to improve once you came out? Uh, as sitting on the, uh, you know what I'm saying, watching from the bench in the beginning, like, I seen that our defense wasn't to par. Like, I know we can score the ball at any given time, so we had to focus on more getting stops than trying to score the ball. So we had to lock in our defense. So I came in, tried to bring some energy on the defensive end for the team. Definitely did as you guys went on there and took the lead away from the Tigers right. and didn't really look back at that first half as you went to halftime with the lead. Coming out of the locker room, for the second half, you guys, a little bit slower once again. Right. Um, I believe you started on the bench as well in the second half. Just what, what's the, um, how, how are you able to amp up yourself coming off and on the bench like that? Uh, when I get in, you know what I'm saying, I just try to try to get the guys together, you know, let them know uh, my presence is here, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm going to be there with y'all, so let's pick it up, like, let's 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 go, you know what I'm saying, let's, like, let's do it right now, instead of when we get down the line, maybe we close game at the end of the game, like, let's do it right now, so it won't even get to that situation. Definitely looking to put it away at that right. moment and amp up your guys on the court. For you guys, a lot better record on the road. What do you think, uh, from a team perspective, from a guy on the team perspective, able what amps you guys up to play on the road? Uh, maybe it's just the blue. No, I'm just playing. Nah, nah. But uh, I just feel like when we on the road, we mentally locked in. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we're focused, trying to get a road win because it's, it's tough getting a road win in college. So we just locked in. And we're trying to figure out a way to be locked in at home too. We're just trying to make it correlate both both home and away right now. And definitely able to go on that run in the second half right. for you guys and just take home the victory. Right. Uh, Three's a streak. How's it feeling for you guys as a team? Uh, we're going through a lot of things right now, so. Us, like, we're, we're very locked in right now. We're trying to make a statement. I'm not going to say what's exactly going on, but at the end goal, we, we wanted to be reasonable while we're going through this right now and have a story to tell at the end. But, Most yeah. certainly, Shaden. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you. So, I'm here with head coach Daryl Stenson after today's victory here at Southern Mass Technical College. Coach, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good, big time win on the road. Always good to get a road victory. Um, was able to pull it out. Uh, tough team. Uh, tough game against a well coach, Southern Crescent. Uh, Southern, Southern Crescent Technical College. That's definitely not Yes. Yes. So uh, you guys are a lot. Able to settle a lot more on the road. It seems um, much better than record like, you guys on the conference. Uh -huh. uh, that's pretty apparent. But coming into the really slow, coming out of the game for you guys. And what did you tell the guys in the huddle on some timeout? Kind of. Reset. Just, just told them, you know, I think offensively we're always going to be fine. We're always going to be in games offensively because of our, our offensive punch and our starting five and also coming off the bench. So it was, it was really just about getting stops defensively. And I think at that, uh, about that seven minute mark, we were able to get key stops and held them to four points in like a four or five minute span. And it all started from our defense. So just basically telling them that we needed to knuckle up defensively and get stops. Uh, I think Sharif Jones responded really well, gave us some huge minutes off the bench. Uh, Shaden, who always gives us huge minutes off the bench, uh, can always count on him coming in and giving us that spark. Um, and just, I just think as a collective group, we, we, we kind of woke up and kind of did what we were supposed to do as far as getting stops defensively and then getting out in transition and knocking down our shots. Um, it was lack lack of focus. I think it was just a lack of focus early. Um, but then once we settled in and ran our offense, got the ball into our point guard's hand, Katon Wyatt, 
and he just made 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 the right reads down the stretch, hitting hitting shading on on lift action, getting to the basket, finishing at the rim, um, and just finding the guys rolling to the basket. So um, I think he, Katan kind of slowed us down and was able to make plays down the stretch, and then Shaden was able to hit some shots down the stretch as well. Katan and Shaden definitely combining and carrying the offense through the greater part of the second half. Yep. Um, it speaks to our depth. Uh, it speaks to how how this team is. It's, it's a next man's up mentality. Like if, if somebody's not carrying what they're supposed to carry, that next man up picks up that extra weight that we're missing. Um, and I think Katan has been playing very, very well in conference play. And he just picks and chooses his spots like a point guard is supposed to. He knows when he's supposed to score, knows when he's supposed to get off of it. Um, and he's just reading the defense well, making the correct plays. Three's a for you guys. You guys are red hot right now. Coach, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Rutherford takes the fall. Ball gets stolen away from him. Now Watkins, the lone defender, he's able to steal it away. Smooth move there by Christian. That leaves Caleb Taylor unopposed. Down in the paint, and he puts up an end. From the corner, it's Zai. He sinks his first three of the day. Corner for Zai. Zai pushes his way in the paint. Now outside to Shaden. Shaden goes for a three. Drops it in. Flip it away. That ball's going to be stolen by Katan. Throw down to Shaden. Shaden, another dunk. Flip down to Zai. Zai over to Shaden for the assist off the glass. Bio flip down to Zai. Zai over to Shaden for the assist off the glass. Silky smooth on that pass. Foul there is Katon Wyatt. Over to Akeem. Akeem slams it in. Zai over to Katon. Katon, a couple steps shy of the free throw line. Drops in a two. Donna Shaden once more going for a three here. 